What is up, everybody? Welcome into the Prepper Soul Alone Show, Season 9, Episode 11, the season finale um, of Alone has come into a close, and we will have a winner by the end of this episode. So uh, this one is titled Fight, Flight, or Freeze, uh, and we have three people remaining. We have um, Timojin, Carrie Lee, and Juan Pablo, so that is who... Uh, is left on the show two males and one female um, we are at day 62 so it's been a great season of alone and i have really no idea who is uh you know going to win um this contest is pretty much could go down to anybody so um we will see if the doctors come into play uh on this one uh, it's usually kind of how that goes because I don't think any of these people will actually tap out. So we'll see. Um, so we are at day 62. Let's go ahead and jump in. Uh, I will go ahead and share uh, my screen now. And we will go ahead and uh, begin the uh, episode here. So always, obviously we have our opening uh, quote here. Out of difficulties grow miracles. Uh, so there's a quote there. So we're going to what previously happened there on a loan. Um, and um, we were basically down to three people um, on the last show as well. So really nothing happened. Nobody was eliminated than uh, the episode before. So now we are into the, the nitty gritty day 62. So. Let's uh, dive uh, right into to this episode, and um, here we go. So we are starting off with uh, Timojin. Uh, he has lost 54 pounds since uh, day one. Feeling really tired. Um, you know, that's basically kind of the theme of the last couple episodes Everyone's really tired and not really being able to find any kind of meats or small games. So there's a, once again, Labrador is receiving about 12 inches of snow uh, overnight. And so it's just really quiet. Like the, the snow is just absorbing everything around. It's really hard to hunt uh, and get any food, you know, in this sort of environment. So he's basically just wandering around checking traps, getting firewood, um, and, and that's kind of what he's kind of been doing, kind of conserving his energy. And so then we move into Carrie Lee. This is still day 62. And she kind of starts off, once again, she always has a, like a playful kind of intro. She's having a snowball fight. And uh, she's lost about 49 pounds since day one. Um, so that's kind of where her her weight's, you know, kind of uh, fluctuating there. And, um, you know, she's obviously wasting a little bit of uh, calories right here with the, the snowball fight here. So uh, she's got a lot of energy left. So uh, she, you know, could easily, you know, win this thing, become the first female winner uh, ever. So. But she's going to go and, uh, you know, look for, uh, go hunt some squirrels. She's pretty much the only person who's actually hunting anything. Timojin's not hunting. Uh, obviously, Juan Pablo is not hunting. He is still fasting. And that's pretty much is going to be his game plan to win this thing. Um, and Carrie Lee talks about how she wants to open a survival school. Uh, I also saw, I think there is a, there is a GoFundMe out there for her. So I may put that um, in um, the in the description if I find that. Um, so I will uh, if I find that link, I'll put that in the description, uh, you know, here on YouTube. But she, uh, as she is, um, you know, talking about what she wants to do with the prize money, she does see some rabbit or hare tracks. So she is uh, going to come, going to go and try and look for this squirrel. 
or this uh, for that rabbit. And as she is, she uh, she spots a squirrel, um, and then she goes to try and shoot that squirrel, but uh, she misses. Obviously, you know hunger can uh, you know play a role in that with her accuracy and her our hands and things like that. And uh, but she misses that squirrel, and in the meantime, also loses. Uh, her arrow too as well as as usual you know there's only there on every contestant is only allowed nine arrows so not sure how many she's down to but i think she has lost quite a few on on this um during her time here so there's those hair tracks and we don't actually see the squirrel on camera but um but she does uh, miss that squirrel. So, so there she is trying to go and look for that arrow. So then we move into Juan Pablo, day 62. Um, and the ice is starting to actually start to puncture uh, his tarp in his shelter. So the ice falling down from the trees is actually, you know, penetrating a hole there. There it is. There's that hole. Um, so he has to somehow fix that hole. So there, yeah, there he makes, uh, you know, a patch there to put uh, into his tarp. So there it is, he used a piece of trapping wire as his needle. And pretty much, you know, Juan Pablo, his, his game plan is to pretty much fast, um, you know, until he wins. So he's not eating anything um, and still not uh, using a fire either. So then we go back to, uh, to Mojin. Um, he goes to get some water. He says he's feeling really sick um, and feeling really weak, as you can tell. You know, last uh, there he kind of falls down. So obviously this is taking a toll on you know his body. Um, but he does say that he has one trick up his sleeve. He has one last trick he's going to use. You know, for his survival, and uh, he does, goes into a lot about talking with, about his mom and how much she's doing this for her, and is basically. Operation Operation Save His His Mom is a go, um, and so um, you know, and as he's going through this, he begins to pack up his stuff and basically walk out. So he's thinking about his long term health, and you know, kind of goes into that spiel. He is a doctor, and he makes he makes the call and taps out and that's kind of how um you know his time on the show ends so there he is he's packing up his things and heading out and that would be the end of his um journey here on alone so he is the eighth person to, um excuse me, the sixth person to leave the show. And here's a camera crew right here. So they are interviewing him there. So there's the helicopter. So they are Taking him out. So now we are down to two. This is day 64. And um, back to Juan Pablo. Um, he's going, doing his same thing, going to grab uh, some water. And he begins to cut uh, firewood. So he's actually going to start making a fire. This is the first fire he's made uh, in 64 days since he's been on you know, the show. And uh, he does have like a fireplace 
uh, as well that he's using to burn this wood. But as he is burning um, this wood, um, there is some sort of like toxic smell that is coming from these cans. So it might have been some leftover paint, uh, you know, in the cans. And it's really starting to bother him. So he has to get rid of these uh, cans. So not, you know, it's definitely affecting his breathing. Uh, so there he is. He's like, he's inhaling these, you know, hazardous fumes, those kind of things. So definitely can cause, you know, headaches, dizziness, nausea. And so he's got to replace, the, you know, get out of his shelter, replace those cans. So as he is uh, doing that, um, current temperature, 15 degrees. Uh, so he be also begins to put uh, those new cans um, in his shelter. So he's got some more cans that he's found. As you know, you can use, you know, leftover trash uh, on from the show to use in your shelter. So that is, uh, you know, what he's doing there. As I said, it's 15 degrees the current moment. And so he changes those out and, you know, still lighting his fire there. So... We go back to Carrie Lee, and uh, she's got some uh, fresh water and has uh, – she's going out to hunt. So she has a lot of energy to go out and hunt and get this, you know, small game. You know, big ups to her. You know, 57 years old, 66 days out in the wild, you know, currently. That's that's amazing. And so she's still out here hunting. She's still out here grinding. She's and she sees some uh, snowshoe tracks, and so she's gonna go hunt down this rabbit. Hopefully, you know, can find her a meal. Uh, she does go into that. She's doing this whole journey uh, for her friend who has cancer. So this whole journey first dedicated to a friend, which is really cool. Uh, so she wants to really win it for her, and that's kind of her motivation, you know, kind of going forward. So there's her kind of telling a uh, story there. And so now we will enter into day 67. Uh, so that's kind of where we're at over just over two months. Uh, you know, these people have been there in Labrador, Canada. And Juan Pablo says that he sees a polar bear uh, in the distance. So they get back. We get back from commercial break and was, you know, we go into what he kind of sees. Says he sees a polar bear, grabs uh, his camera, but no polar bear shows up on the screen. So is he having some sort of hallucination? He says that that's, this has happened to him before out in the in the wilderness. Definitely probably has, you know, a lot to do with, you know, starvation. You know, it's hungry. And you can, you know, your mind really starts playing tricks on you. So, um, so that's a really kind of, you know, weird moment there in the show. Uh, they go back to Carrie Lee, day 60, uh, day 67. And she is actually making some skis and she's, a, and she's going to go, um, make some skis and she's, and she's back in the game and she has no plans to tap out on this show. So, She's in it for the long haul as well. And so here she is making these skis. Go back to uh, Juan Pablo. He's just drinking the water. Never got sick. Didn't ever boil the water straight out of the lake. And it's remarkable of, of how long he's lasted. And so that's his game plan. He's basically just sleeping and drinking water. And uh, we go back to Carrie Lee. And they kind of jump back and forth where, you know, now at, uh, you know, 
day 69, basically saying that um, seven daylight hours during this time of the season. So not a lot of daylight at all during the day, um, you know, in this area. And so a lot of sitting around waiting. Now we're at day 70. And it's just a lot of sleeping, a lot of staying in your shelters because this is just uh, rough weather to be out in, to do any kind of hunting in. So now we're already at day 72. So they're basically just waiting, you know, waiting this out. Waiting. It's a waiting game um, at this point. Um, you know, both contestants are tired and hungry. And it's basically who is going to tap next unless, uh, you know, there is some sort of uh, the doctors come into play and they need to relieve them of, uh, you know, their duties. So those are the big factors right now. And so we'll see who, uh, what happens next here after this. And so, uh, you know, as they're, uh, you know, going through everything, Juan Pablo says that he's, is definitely going to propose to his his girl after all of this is uh, kind of said and done. And he, and from the beginning, he's had a mentality that he's going to win this thing. So I don't, you know, I have no, I have no idea who, you know, who's going to win. Um, you know this this contest. It's going to be a heartbreak if they, you know, if a doctor has to pull one of them out. That's that's a tough way to go out. And then uh, we get to day uh, 74. We're at day 74. And uh, Carrie Lee begins to get a little emotional about a lot of things. She, you know, she's hungry. Uh, but she does say that she's not tapping out. Um, this is, you know, at day 74. She's going through a lot with the land. And she is getting really emotional kind of with everything kind of going on. Here it is. Do your dream. So... She's trying to hold on as you know as long as she can. And just kind of talking about life and the land and you know what she wants to do, uh, what she wants to do with the money. Um, you know, if she wins, she'll open up a survival school, how much uh, it's gonna change her life, um, you know, if she does win. So So we will see what happens when day 75 um, arrives. We'll see right after this commercial. This is a brand new show here from Alone, another uh, Alone Frozen. Might do some videos uh, on that. I think that um, actually started this week. Uh, so I might be a little behind on that. Um, so here we are, day 75, current temperature 14 degrees. Here we are back with Carrie Lee, and she actually has the phone in her hand. Uh, she just says that she is pretty much so weak that she can't even pull her bow back. And that's going to, you know, handicap her from even being able to get any food. And I think that was the straw that broke her back and the straw that broke the camel's back. And she is going to make the call. And taps out. Here comes the helicopter now. And here she is giving up, man. She had a big fight. And this is, I think, the third year in a row that we've had a female um, that finished in the top two, which uh, is just absolutely amazing how far, you know, these people can go. So that makes Juan Pablo the winner. Uh, of the show and so we go back to him this is um all the way back i guess uh, you know a lot of uh logistics and things uh going into play to get you know his girlfriend in there dude but this is now day 78 so they basically uh you know made him kind of sit out there for an extra two days um and he gets a notification that the there's a doctor's check so he is rushing up he's getting water uh 
you know, rushing up to make sure that he's fully capable. Because he doesn't want to get eliminated. He doesn't know that, um, you know, that he's declared the winner yet. And here come the doctors to look him over. Um, and this is kind of where, um, you know, he receives his his med check. And this is when his girlfriend, um, you know, meets him. Um, to declare him the winner, and that and that's awesome to see Juan Pablo win uh, alone season nine, and he's you know the first Latino to ever win uh, alone, and he says that you know at, here at the end of the show. Um, so, but uh, just remarkable of um, how far he made it, just basically eating nothing and just drinking water and resting and just shows how far you can go without food at all and just a great story for him man glad he could win i actually i also picked up his book as well thrive picked it up on amazon so i'm definitely excited to read that as well um so congrats to uh juan pablo the final uh animal count so here's the final animal count for uh the alone season and these are animals that actually showed up on the screen uh, of alone. So we had one bear, one whiskey jack, one rabbit, one weasel, one muskrat, three seals, three beavers, 18 squirrels, 17 grouse, and 39 brook trout. So uh, congratulations to all the contestants and congratulations to the winner, Juan Pablo. Man, he crushed it. Uh, another great uh, season of alone. Couldn't believe that the doctors – uh, you know, did not come into play at the end. I'm kind of glad to see him kind of see, you know, the people kind of, you know, the last three kind of battle out on their own. The doctors didn't have to come into play and remove anybody. So really cool. They didn't have to get involved uh, towards the end, but another great season. And I just want to thank uh, everybody for uh, liking and subscribing and following along and hope you like my wrap ups. So I will be glad to, you know, doing these a little bit more and, uh, this is a great uh, show, probably one of the best shows on TV at the moment. But uh, another great season, and thank you for joining me, and have a great week.